What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video. And in this one, the New England Patriots have signed free agent cornerback Lindsey Pipkins. Now, just a quick disclaimer, I've seen a lot of people asking the same question, you know, free agency already began, I wasn't aware of that, how are the Patriots signing him when free agency hasn't begun, and the New England Patriots were able to sign Pipkins because he's been a free agent for a good amount of time, okay? It's not like he'll be first hitting free agency in a couple of weeks when March hits and the new league year begins, which allows him to be signed by any team at any period. The best way I can give an example of this would be if a team went out and they wanted to sign former Patriots running back LeGarrette Blunt. Right now, they could do it at any point. They wouldn't have to wait until free agency started because he had been a free agent prior to the new league year beginning. But like I mentioned, the New England Patriots went and they picked up a cornerback that was on the open market for a good amount of time already. He was released by the uh, the Cleveland Browns during the 53-man roster cutdowns last season. He was on their 90-man roster. Clearly, he didn't make that. He was released, and since then, he has not played in the NFL and I don't think that this signing is going to get enough credit, okay? Now, I'm not saying this signing is going to necessarily go anywhere. He could just be a camp body. He could have a limited role in the Patriots next season. Ultimately, it's way too soon to really predict what's going to happen. But I think that this is one of the signings that has a lot of potential and isn't just a signing that is some no-name guy that's going to end up getting released in a week. Pipkins is your typical NFL cornerback, okay? He's very long. You can visibly see that with his body. Very elongated, both within his frame, his height, and also his arm. Still pretty young. Uh, he's 26 years old and sits at 6 foot, 194 pounds. The other thing that I really like about this signing is that Pipkins is pretty fast for a cornerback, so the Patriots are adding some speed within their secondary. He originally entered the league as an undrafted signing coming out of Louisiana and Oklahoma back in 2017. While in the NFL, he has also spent his time with about four separate teams. Those teams consisted of the Green Bay Packers, the Indianapolis Colts, the Detroit Lions, and most recently again would be the Cleveland Browns. He played his first season with the Green Bay Packers in which he had 12 games starting in one of them. He had one pass defended, one tackle for loss, and a total of 15 tackles. Now after that season, he was traded to the Colts and I think that is where the Patriots have some familiarity, uh, familiarity with him because in that season, the Patriots played the Colts, okay? In a couple of the pictures you'll see, um, you'll see... Pipkins actually playing against the Patriots and making some tackles on Patriots running back Sonny Michel. While he was with the Colts, he played in just one game in which he had a total of nine tackles, and that was all the stats that he recorded within that season because later in that season, he was actually picked up then by the Detroit Lions after getting released by the Colts. He played two games there with the Detroit Lions, and again, he did not record any statistics, and since then, he's not been in the NFL. So the good thing about this is that although he hasn't played in a regular season since 2018, he does still have some experience within the NFL sooner than that because he was a camp body for the Cleveland Browns. He spent that full offseason with them, even played the preseason with them, but sadly he just was not able to make the final roster. So when compiling all his stats together from each of the teams that he's played with in his career, he has over 15 regular season games and he stands with a total of 24 tackles and one pass deflection. As a rookie with the Green Bay Packers, Pipkins has seen 122 snaps with their defense and 113 snaps for their special teams. If you look him up and you see his highlights and you see his gameplays, he's not a guy that you'll see him making a bunch of special teams tackles, okay? This isn't going to be a signing like a Justin Bethel or a Matthew Slater. He does have some special teams experience. I also wouldn't be surprised to see Bill Belichick try to put him within that special teams role because he is a very good tackler, plays very physical, and again has some pretty great speed for a defensive back. 
But I think one of the most intriguing parts about this signing is that he's not going to be signed for the sole purpose of special teams because his main cup of tea, oddly enough, has been playing on defense. That's what his majority of snaps have been within his time in the NFL. Now, the signing of Pipkins isn't going to be something where he becomes a starter for the Patriots, okay? I think best case scenario, at least right now for him, is that he'd be lucky enough to get within the rotation of the Patriots' defensive backs. Let's remember that he's going to be joining a group that consists of Stephon Gilmore, J.C. Jackson, Jonathan Jones, Jawan Williams, Justin Bethel, Jason McCourty, and you also have rookie D'Angelo Ross, who's performing very well towards the end of the offseason last year before being put on the injured reserve. But while watching him play, I could see that his play on defense is definitely fairly consistent. Um, he's good within both stopping the run and within pass protection. He's made some really good plays, actually, in stopping the run, and he's also gone up against more top-tier players within the NFL, okay? He's not a guy that only has experience playing against a team's third or fourth string wide receiver or running back. He's a guy that has played both man and zone coverage. He's done really well in both. Something that I noticed while watching him play man coverage is that he uses his speed very well. He also uses his very long and elongated body, arms, to be able to maneuver very well. He's very good with in-press coverage, which is something else I noticed. A lot of times, I was surprised that he didn't get called for defensive pass interference. And that's not because he did anything wrong. It's just because of how good and how close he was playing to his receiver. Also, while watching him in zone coverage, I realized that he does a very good job of being able to read the eyes of a quarterback, okay? He's not slow on his feet. He goes and he makes a tackle. He's also a very good tackler. And if you look up his highlights, you can see that he is very aggressive and he makes sure that he finishes his tackles through. Now again, moving forward, we can't say too much about this signing right now because we haven't seen what other plays the New England Patriots are going to make within the draft, free agency, trades, all of that good stuff. We also haven't seen him play at all with the Patriots, okay? Not training camp, OTAs, mini camps. So again, it hasn't even been 24 hours. Let's not jump to conclusions, but I really do like this signing. I think that this is a signing that has a lot of potential that people aren't really going to necessarily give it the credit that it deserves. But I'm 100% behind the signing, and I'm excited to see where it goes. But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on the signing of quarterback Lindsey Pipkins? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys also give this video a huge thumbs up if it was informational for you, and leave all your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to have a discussion with you guys, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for all of your New England Patriots news. The new league year will start on 4 p.m. on March 18th, so we're just around the bend for free agency and a bunch more signings, so you guys are not going to want to miss any videos, so make sure you also have your post notifications turned on. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in my next video.